That's it. That's right. Good stretch back. There you go. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. Yep. Four more. Nine. Come on, Nick. Ten. Two more. Last one. Now 12. Go. One, two, three, four, five. All the way up. Six. Come on. Six more. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Come on, Nick. Here we go. One more. What do they say, guys? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Josh Bryan is putting Peter Edgett and myself through uh, John McWilliams' original arm blaster. A lot of lifts and a lot of combos I've never done before. So I've been training for over 10 years to find something I've never done before. It's pretty exciting. I did that workout Monday. It's Friday. I'm still sore. Taking it back old school with Josh Bryan, Peter Edgett. Give this arm workout a try. Every single combo, rep range, and... Uh, just try it out verbatim and let me know what you think and give Josh Bryant a follow and I will see you next time. Five, six, three, four. We are here at Destination Dallas. I got my Ukrainian bodyguards here for protection. But today what we did, this workout was brought to, brought to us by our good friend, Paul Leonard, guy is so classy, he stepped out a shower to take a leak. He sent me the workout. It's old school, it's from John McWilliams. John McWilliams is from the kind of like the pre-drug era of bodybuilding, one of the, like the last kind of holdout guys. One of the first guys with 20 inch arms, 500 pound bench press, helped with the San Diego Chargers strength training, was a legend in California, strength conditioning coach. So what we're gonna do is at the bottom of this video, I'm gonna send I'm gonna post the article Paul sent in the comments at the bottom, or excuse me, the description box at the bottom so you can read it in good detail and see what we did in action today. Five, six, three, four, five. If you've ever spent any time um, in the jailhouse, the outhouse, the penthouse, you may have seen this exercise before. So what you're gonna do, it's a bent arm pull over the barbell. He's doing 12 reps, getting a good stretch, and you can really feel that stretch in your triceps if you, if you feel it. Obviously, you're feeling your chest, shoulders, things like that, lats too. What you do is 12 reps like that, and after the 12th rep, you pump out 12 reps on close grips. And you wanna go with um, form over function here. Don't think about just moving the barbell from point A to point B. Perfect form, execute properly, and you'll feel this blast your triceps. So it's 12 on each exercise. You rest 90 per seconds between sets, do two of those uh, supersets like that without setting the barbell down. Three, four, five. 12 reps, bent arm pullover. Then immediately after completing that, you do 12 reps of close grip bench presses. The thing is, the bent arm pullover, this, that's gone the way of the dodo bird. Ain't nobody doing that anymore. These guys felt an immense stretch in their back arm, or triceps, excuse me. So what they did there, three sets of 12 reps. It's a 45 second break between sets. So one goes, the other goes back and forth, back and forth. Emphasizing perfect form. Elbows in tight, there you go. Five, six, halfway there. Seven, eight. There you go. Two. Two more, you're up here. Go. Next, on the line, tricep extensions. Run slightly behind the head, keeping the elbows in tight, pointed at the ceiling. Three sets of 12, 45 second break between sets. One goes, the other goes, that's it. Come 
by this point in the workout, they're pretty shot. So after that, what we finished off with is one of sort of the granddaddy of back arm builders, close grip bench presses. So what they did there is three sets of 10, 60 second breaks. So one goes, the other goes back and forth, back and forth. After the third set of close grip bench press, they finish off with 20 strict dumbbell tricep kickbacks on each arm and they blasted their arms. So, if, you know, if your arms have not grown since the second Bush administration, give this routine a try.